Have you heard the rumors about Astraea of the Valley of Defilement? They claim that she and her royal knight have become demons and lead a clan of degenerate miscreants. In truth, the rumors are surely unfounded. There are all sorts of wrongdoers down there who would think up such nonsense. Yet if the rumors are true, then may she be eternally damned for her debasement of the Lord's name. Astraea of the Valley of Defilement? I'm not sure, but Saint Astraea of the West was accompanied by the knight Garl Vinland. She would never turn to evil with that upstanding knight to guide her. Surely it is mere slander. The vicious rumors about Astraea offend our most basic sense of respect for God's name. Many honorable knights have ventured into Boletaria in search of the Valley of Defilement. Vito, the Moonlight Knight, Resaya of Isterel, and Selan Vinland. However, none of these great knights has made it back. Could it be that the wretched valley is so infested with grime that even our Lord's voice does not resonate there? Or perhaps it is the fate of those left behind by God? This place? It's a proper mound of rubbish. All the rot of the world, living or not, ends up here. That witch Astraea came to this valley with that squid-headed knight. Those ridiculous white robes of hers. I swear I caught her glaring at my son in disgust. Yes, yes, it's true, she is as nasty as they come. Ever since that demon witch came here, everything has turned foul. All the men worship her like she's the Virgin Mary. The same men who would snatch my child away from me. You're here to rid us of her, aren't you? Well, don't show her any mercy.
are one of the sane ones, are you not? I am Selen of the West. I seek my brother, Gal Vinland, the knight who accompanied Saint Astraea on her travels. I believe they settled here. If you happen to see my younger brother, please tell me. I must share with him the last words of our father. Have you met that herb-peddling woman? She claims that Saint Astraea is herself a demon. That woman has no reason to lie. Surely she must be mistaken. Leave us, slayer of demons. This is a sanctuary for the lost and wretched. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please leave quietly, lest you face the wrath of my loyal follower. Go forth, Galvinland. May you be unharmed. Ye covetous ones, let it be known. We shall defend our hearth and home to the death. I shall let no harm come to dearest Destrier. You will not turn back, will you? May you rot in the deepest depths of this swamp. How dare you persist in intruding upon our haven? What right do you have? We live humble lives. Leave us be. Please stop. This is our home. We have done no harm to you. Dear Lord, what more can you possibly take from us? You are too cruel. You have abandoned us. Is that not punishment enough? Dear God! Dearest Astraea, I have failed you. You... You killed him, didn't you? Very well. I can no longer resist you. Take your precious demon soul. This crest, that is a Vinland heirloom meant for my younger brother. So, my brother and Astraea have both strayed from the path of God. I hesitate to ask, but can you part with that crest? Thank you, kind warrior. I only wished to remember my poor younger brother by it. I will search for a way back home. May the angels gaze favorably upon you. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime, but at once feels strangely pure. The poor souls. Perhaps their hearts were too pure. Mbasa. <laughs>